push-ups. You already know that they make your chest stronger, they make your tri triceps stronger, and uh, you may or may not know that they make your core stronger, because if you think about it, you're holding the plank while you're moving. Uh, they are also good for your heart health, it seems. Um, being able to do more push-ups, the more push-ups a man can do anyway is what one study found, um, they, the less likely they are to have heart disease. And they found that it was if a man can do 40 push-ups, four to zero, uh, at a good tempo, good, good rate, all at the same time consecutively, they had a 96% reduction in heart-related conditions uh, over the next 10 years. They followed these men for 10 years. Um, it seemed to be a better predictor than uh, endurance tests on a treadmill, and it didn't really matter as much about their BMI or their age. The, the push-ups were kind of the big factor, so it's interesting. Now, I always like to remind people this was one study that was looking at a few different things. However, there seems to be a case to be made that if you can do more push-ups in addition to being stronger, it might be a, a good thing for your heart. So in this video, what I wanna do is give you a lot of tips, tricks, strategies on how you can do more push-ups. The first thing is start where you are. You know, I threw out that number 40. If you can only do 10 push-ups, don't make 40 your goal. Maybe make 20 your goal or 15 your goal. If you can do 30, then maybe you make 40 your goal. So start where you are because consistency is going to matter more than anything. I mean, get, you're gonna wanna be able to do push-ups almost every day or at least every other day for six weeks to really notice the benefits and the value. It takes a little bit of time uh, to get stronger in there. And then that really uh, brings me to the second part, consistency. You can do these every day if you want to. There is a misconception that doing strength training that you need to take two days off. That's true if you're doing bodybuilding and you're doing really heavy weights and you need that muscle recovery time. But with push-ups, it's a body weight exercise and it's almost as much brain nervous system training kind of getting this groove going. So you wanna do these frequently to have that value. So I'm gonna give you a lot of options, but one I like if you have a gym facility, uh, using these bands here, they're big stretchy bands, uh, resistance bands, this is one option we like a lot. Now again, I said start where you are. So how many push-ups can you do? If you can't do any push-ups, you would start with some kind of a support. And I'll give other options again, like I said. Say you can do six push-ups on your own. You would do your one, two, three, four, five, six. Get to that point that uh, I can't do anymore. You could use a resistance band to do more, to really burn them out because that's what you're going for. So the resistance band, it goes right under your chest level. Keep your core engaged, keep your hips up just a little bit and do your push-ups from there. So that could be a way to burn out some more push-ups because I can't stress enough, that's really what you wanna do. You want to burn them out. After you get to the point that you're almost failing, I can't do any more, then you wanna find some way to assist yourself to get two more, to get five more, to get six more. How many can you do? So again, you could start with this and just do a lot more than you would normally be able to, or you could start, do however many you can do to the point that you can't do any more, and then use a band like this. Now another option to burn them out, let's say you don't have the band and you're just doing these at home, it could be do as many as you can do from here, and maybe that's six, maybe it's 20, maybe it's zero, you're starting uh, from scratch. So what you could do uh, are what are called eccentric, and these are really good ways to get stronger. The eccentric is down slow. So maybe you could come from the feet, go down slow. How slow can you go? Keep your core engaged as slow as you can. Then drop to your knees, push yourself back up, come up, down slow. Drop to your knees, push yourself back up, and do this, down slow. Or maybe you're just doing your push-ups, you come up fast, and then down slow, down slow, down slow. And then finally, of course, you can use some kind of an elevation. Same thing, I can't stress enough, start where you are. So maybe you can do a certain amount of push-ups from the ground, and then maybe you drop to an elevation and do them. Maybe you just start here and do all of them, and you could do the same idea of the eccentrics down. Slow, 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 push it up. Slow, 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 push it up. Um, again, burn these push-ups out. Do them consistently. You could almost do these daily. Or if you're gonna do them every other day, let's say you are sore, 
maybe three, four, five different times per day, just drop down, do a lot of push-ups, and then maybe you do them every day. So kind of find a good rhythm, a good routine that works for you, but I can't stress enough. Consistently give it at least six weeks, um, and then from there you might find that I love these things, I'm going to do more of these uh, more frequently and build up to a, uh, a higher amount. So hopefully it gives you some insight, get yourself a little bit stronger, stronger in the body, and stronger in your heart. If you have any questions, leave them below.